I don't for that. Well, no. Did you hear about Shotgun Tommy? No. <laughs> you know, you know Shotgun Tommy. I know him. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he rob the post office? He did not. Yeah, burst in the door, shotgun in the hand, ballot lever on, started shout. <laughs> Who was in there? Sending off their winning streak scratch card, <laughs> only Pascal, the guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says to him, "Tommy, what are you doing?" <laughs> and didn't Tommy say, "I'm doing an audition for the Mass Singer, <laughs> <laughs> the television show, the Mass Singer." I know the one. Yeah, I know the one. Didn't he get away with it? He did not. Yeah, they told him he'd have to work on the vocals though. <laughs> it was all over the place. There was no tune to it at all. It must have been some sort of rap piece he was doing. <laughs> but anyway, spoken word. Spoken, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh. So a bit of news in here. Please, yes. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Crocodiles have long, <laughs> pointy snouts okay. and are bigger, while alligators are something that someone accuses you of, but they don't have any proof yet. <laughs> Are you with me? Uh, no. Ah, that would, no, that could be an allegation. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah, an allegation. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're thinking of. I take your point on board, <laughs> but we have to agree to disagree. <laughs> so the news is, this week in Indonesia, mm. a crocodile had a tire stuck around his neck oh. for five years. Jeez. And he was tipping around the same town, up and down the river, and they were all looking at him, mortified. And a local man has finally gotten it off the crocodile's head. Wow. Now, the local man, whose name is Tilly, T-I-L-I. Right. Lots of people in Indonesia only have one name. Wow. That's a fact. Like the singer Prince. Do you know Prince? Yeah, I know Prince. Yeah. yeah. Or Patsy the Welder. It's just known as Patsy. Patsy, <laughs> okay. And, like, when the wife went to get married, she couldn't take the surname. He wouldn't tell her. <laughs> That's her second name. He said that's his own business. <laughs> He's tough on the children. Is he? But no, that, that was tough on the children. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. But they had no second name then. That's <laughs> hard the kids' names. But they, they all got to pick their own. When they were making their confirmation. <laughs> what names did they pick? <laughs> Well, I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> all the children got to pick their own surnames then when they're making the uh, communion. Right. So, of course, there was uh, a <laughs> Eamon Springsteen, <laughs> Joe Cantona, <laughs> Geraldine Aguilera, <laughs> Tyg Bon Jovi, <laughs> Paddy Dog after Snoop. <laughs> Martin Ronaldo. <laughs> Paddy Dog. Uh, Eugene Santana. <laughs> Ashling Timberlake. <laughs> and his youngest son, then, Fergal Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in my shot. That was tough on the, tough on the family now. It was tough on him. And it's <laughs> there's no there's no second name, sir. Oh, and then then the uh, wife the wife changed her name to Slash. Just <laughs> <laughs> off on him now. But Tilly anyway, <laughs> Tilly the crocodile man in here, right? He he caught the crocodile in the trap that he made. Uh, out of rope and wood And then he actually did another one Then it was Brendan Beckham I think <laughs> was the, the other son they had But Tilly anyway <laughs> he, ca- he caught the crocodile <laughs> He'd been tracking it for three weeks And then when he caught it He wrapped he wrapped the beast head In a cloth And then he cut off the tire oh. And the government after giving him a reward For being such a mad bastard <laughs> And he said that he hates to see any animal suffering even a snake. Wow. Yeah. But he did use hmm. live chickens and ducks as bait. Jesus. For the crocodile. Oh, fucking hell. Now, this reminded me of a similar incident we had down the road. Uh. We had a dog <laughs> addicted to knickers. 
He was eating them. All right. He, he was wasn't up, wearing them. He was going around the washing line. Eating them. <laughs> Twas Bumpy Kelly who had him. <laughs> and then when she died, Tracy Lacey took him on. Okay. But she came out one day to get out of the shower to get dressed. And the dog had the bra round his neck. And so she wasn't, you know, as big as Bumpy. So the dog used to jump hoops through Bumpy's ones. Like, yeah, it was yeah. not a bother. Never an issue. But anyhow, Tracy went down to pull the bra off the dog. And he bit her right in the tit. Jeez. He bit the tit off her, right? Well, she <laughs> she rang looking for help. Does anyone have experience with tits? And I said, I'm working with the two Johnnies. <laughs> So I went down in here. I went down, and she said, before you come in, have you COVID? I said, I don't think so. But then again, I didn't think that other woman had crabs either, did I? (laughs) 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 Fergal Come on, straighten up now. (laughs) So we set a trap for the dog, using her knickers as bait. Right. And we came out the next morning. And what was inside in the trap? Only Spooky Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have to let him out. Yeah. yeah. You know he'd be wandering around the place, yeah. like wandering the roads. That would God be good to him. <laughs> that would God help us. Yeah. So I was leaving him off, but I was kind of at a distance. I was kind of, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh! Because you'd have to let him run, because he could bite your Anton. He could bite your Anton, that fella, you know? He's a bit of an all-god helpers. What were you doing? Well, I was leaving him off. I was kind of one-handed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I came in here trying to do a bit of news. <laughs> so he bit Peg Levin one time and there was war because I tell you. <laughs> Everyone loves Peg Everyone loves Peg Levin. <laughs> she was going to have him put down. <laughs> but didn't the garage object? Saying that they couldn't do without him because he was the only man to valet the car. <laughs> <laughs> He'd sniffed the dirt out. <laughs> and then, then the fucker, he used to be going home with people. Uh, they'd, o- they'd get home and they'd open the boot and Spooky jump out at him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> And so he caught more women called the guards in him and got heart attacks. Yeah. But like there'd be no badness in him. <laughs> He'd only want a few scraps or you know, a few newspapers. He loved the newspapers. Did why? Well, the star was his favourite. Okay. Yeah. Now he couldn't read. But he'd, <laughs> <laughs> he'd make a nest for himself. <laughs> See, his mother threw him out. She couldn't deal with him anymore. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't eat to dinner. He was living on blue tack and fizzy arms. <laughs> <laughs> Scott as ever just was Jeez, fucked right. Three. She threw him out. <laughs> so he's not right to poor God help us. I let him sleep in the shed for a winter. Did you? That's nice. Oh, well, Carmel didn't like him round the place, I tell you. <laughs> but he kept the rats away. <laughs> but he is, he's a strange character. He poor Jake used to get off in nightmares. Did he? Yeah, it was just spooky up in the attic, you know, he'd be crawling around. <laughs> scratching. <laughs> for a while he thought he was a pheasant. <laughs> Patsy shot him a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't warm him at all. No. <laughs> Patsy didn't warm him at all now. He didn't like him around the place. He put up in that big oak tree by the river at Patsy's, you know, and he'd be con. <laughs> Patsy'd shoot him clean over the tree. <laughs> and he'd hear him fall and he'd be going, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he'd shoot him clean over the tree. Jeez. You know, but his own mother put him out. That's wicked, yeah, that's wicked. Dealing with children can be hard. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. When our Geraldine went to college, we noticed a change in her. You know, she was hanging around with Dublin types, <laughs> studying commerce. What is that? What? It's no one even knows. It's like, it's it's like no, business, isn't but it? But no one, no one knows. <laughs> well, uh, Carmen searched her room one day and found... Found a packet of noodles. <laughs> I hit the roof. <laughs> Carmel's heart was broke. Why was wrong with noodles? Twenty years, seven thousand three hundred days in a row. That woman cooks buds for that girl. <laughs> then one day, oh no, ma'am, I'm not hungry. And then we find this shit. <laughs> I'd rather it was crack cocaine. <laughs> At least then we could blame that in the disco. <laughs> I confronted her about it. Did you? 
I said, what's the story to noodles? And she said, I'm only holding them for a friend. <laughs> I said, don't lie to me. <laughs> was it your first time? She said, no. One night she's at a house party. All her friends were doing it. Someone offered her a pot of noodles. She wanted to fit in. Be cool. Then it was just nights out, and then she was so stressed. She was in college, and she was working the four part-time jobs I had her working, <laughs> and she didn't have time to peel spuds. And before she knew it, she was on the egg fried rice. <laughs> we had no option. We pulled her out of college. <laughs> we wanted to put her into rehab, but there was no government supports. <laughs> it was a long road, but she's doing well now, okay. and she can walk past the Chinese takeaway, and she don't feel the urge to go in. <laughs> She's back in the spuds, and she's doing well. She's happy. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, I, I kind of lost where I was going with this. <laughs> <laughs> Something about a crocodile? Yeah. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. But uh, I'll go away. <laughs> Thanks. I'm bringing her to Spaghetti Anonymous. <laughs> Mind yourself. Thanks, Noel. <laughs> Crazy. Over and out. <laughs>